Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I have built a deck that is total trash for the sake of laughs. Here we go, are you ready? The coin flip deck. <laughs> Basically, everything relies on a coin flip here. You can get great rewards, but also great dissatisfaction. Well, I should say most things rely on a coin flip here. Um, let's start out with the Geo Dude here. Stone Barrage. Flip a coin until you get tails. 10 damage times the number of heads. I probably will not get more than 10 damage most of the time with that. <laughs> uh, Stone Barrage. Same thing except 20 damage, so I probably won't get 20 more than that. But there is a secondary attack. It does 10 damage each my own bench Pokemon to boot, so maybe a little bit on the iffy side. For the sake of showing multiple stuff that I didn't show before, I've got Golem, which isn't really a coin flip dealio, but it's, you know, it's only one copy of it. It's got basic avalanche, four, four, yeah, hiccup four for 60, and uh, self-destruct, 20 damage each Pokemon, either player bench, so it could do mass amounts of damage that way, not, not possibly, it could be, maybe, might be, who knows. <laughs> and I got this version of Golem. Double colorless energy can power that, as you've seen with the energy typing there. And rock, rock, rock blasts. And yeah, it's not a coin flip either, but I just wanted to show this version of Golem as well. So 100 damage for the five energy cards, basically. Well, you can, you know, you could use three energy cards for the rock blast, three for 60. But anyway, <laughs> uh, meow, scratch, basic. Earn coins! Flip a coin so you get tails, draw a card for each head. Yep, that version of Meowth again. Bite, Fury Swipes, three coins, attack does 10 damage times the number of heads. Double Cuddleless would be nice for that. Dark Persians also got a, uh, well not this attack, this is like a gust of wind. Uh, this attack here can cause poison, as you know with this Dark Persian. I just use this version of the artwork because it's pretty awesome. So yes, Kangaskhan, you know that, Comet Punch, dealio there. I also got Lugia. <laughs> Just for the heck of it, because this thing was causing me fits before. So, now for the trainer cards, I got energy removal. Of course, there's no coin flip energy removal. Energy removal 2 was not made yet. <laughs> Professor Oak, there really isn't any big coin flip cards other than Gambler, but I, I wouldn't wish Gambler on the worst of enemies, so I'm still using Professor Oak. Uh, super Scoop Up. This is kind of like my healing card, as well as recycling card, if it works. <laughs> Put everything of that card into your hand, if you get heads. Uh, computer search, not so much a coin flip. Pokemon Trader, not so much a coin flip either, but again, it's not really much coin flippy for that sort of fill, so. In place of Bill, I got Bill's Teleporter. <laughs> so it's not having like Bill and Challenge. A plus Bill's Teleporter, it's just Bill's Teleporter. <laughs> and the Rock is Trap can discard cards from the opponent's hand, should the coin flips go in my favor. Now let me yell at the computer screen for hours. <laughs> Ghostmaster Anna, Confusion Damage Zack. Let's go. Good afternoon! Do I finally have a customer? I'll gladly take your order if you have a seat at the table. Okay. I would like a stake, please. For the card battle you ordered, please pay with six prize cards. Chaos Inflictor. Yeah, she calls her deck, you know, confusion t type deck, but then it's called something else here. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, we shuffle. I will probably never get an attack off, but we shuffle. And. Now oh, that's a great start. Oh man, we got the Geodude! <laughs> now watch me get all the coin flips in the world. So yeah, if there's going to be any sort of example of why you should not rely on coin flips, this is the example. <laughs> Got it? Good. Okay, I'm going to end my turn here. She's probably going to use Frighten, but that's not that big of a deal, really. I'm going to mainly go for a retreat into something that can damage the Ghastly, because it's got fighting resistance anyway, so... And uh, what I'm going to do here is... Wait, actually, oh no, yeah, with Frighten, I can't exactly, uh, maybe that was a, a slight misplay, I should have maybe did the computer search first. I was gonna surprise it with a Kangaskhan or something like that. Well, 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 I guess I'll, I guess I'll end the turn then. <laughs> and, yeah, Sleeve, Darkness, K 
Can confusion hit? No, but no, I can do something. That's why I said it wasn't really that big of a deal with Frighten in general, because it's got to attack eventually. Oh, um... Makes me wonder if I should, uh, use Traitor for a Kangaskhan first, and then uh, wait a turn before computer searching for a Professor Oak or something like that. Uh, assuming there we go. I was going to say, assuming that Kangaskhan is in the deck. There we go. Put that in play. See, now it's with all the psychic Pokemon, other than Clefairy, we should be in pretty decent shape there. Um. Should I trade for another colorless, like the Lugia? Ah, I'll wait a, wait a bit, see what I get on the next draw. Because basically, I don't want to Professor Oak my whole hand before it's, uh, before it's bad to do so. <laughs> so yeah, I don't want to burn important cards of this coin flip monstrosity here. Alright, so we're going to go try and get some damage off on the Ghastly here, I guess. <laughs> as, long, as long as we can. Uh, Pokemon Trader, that Dark Persian, to go grab... Uh, b -b 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 I suppose. <laughs> uh, put that in play, and then next turn I'll computer search for Professor Oak. Hey, look at that! Zero damage! <laughs> now just think, if I actually had a no coin flip attack, I would have done damage guaranteed! <laughs> Ooh, Dark Haunter. That could be an issue depending on the uh, situation. Hopefully, no heads. Oh shoot! There goes my probably computer search. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Ah, oh, it was. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought the other ones were. Uh, I just redrew it. <laughs> yeah, it's super scoop up. Um. Well. Well. It suck. Um. I kind of have no choice but the Stone Barrage here. Now, there we go. Need another one to do damage? Oh. <laughs> Just think. If it was something that did 40 straight out, I'd be nicking away at that Haunter right now. <laughs> Please don't get heads, thank you. I just want a computer search for a Professor Oak. Alright, so I did zero damage to Haunter. Kangaskhan's going up next. Is this good? It's the only two I got in the deck, but I, I think it's worth for the Professor Oak. Alright, please give me double colorless energy. At the very least, I've got resistance to the... Uh, I know, but I do have a bunch of teleporters. Nope. That one failed me. His, his teleporter is clearly a buggy. <laughs> so it's like using two bills there. Uh, Rocket's Trap, maybe I can get heads off that? Oh man. Uh, should probably put that in play in case of a Clefairy. Um, I guess I'll have to power up Kangaskhan the old-fashioned way. I'll energy remove all the Clefairy, because Dark Hunter really isn't going to be doing much to, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should actually use this again, shouldn't I? <laughs> Why didn't I try that? <laughs> and she's got one card in her hand, and I shall fetch. Hopefully it's not a trainer card. Okay, well, actually, no, it doesn't matter, because the harass is still not going to do uh, that much damage overall. Oh, does she know that? Because usually the, the... Like, wouldn't she use the... Like, really? Or what? No, it's, it would be nice to re return the energy removal, so no, she, she should have used that then. So why didn't she attack, just to see what I've got in my hand? Interesting. Interesting. Comic punch. <laughs> Three heads will be a knockout. No. <laughs> I mean, Kangaskhan still isn't a bad Pokemon, as you know, because of the fetch and all like that. It's just the thing of that you're really reliant on the coin flips of that comic punch. But yeah, that fetch is kind of kind of impossible to hate. <laughs> uh, wait, what's the retreat on to... Uh, well, I'll energy remove the Clefairy. I'll plop that on the Lugia and call it a turn, because I need a double colorless for Lugia. <laughs> actually get attacking or two more fighting energies. So, yeah. So, let's see how this turns out. Oh, man, it's Bill's teleporter! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, just look how, how look how the options just, just so limited as a result of that. With, you know, the coin flips. 
I wonder if I should just retreat or... Uh, well, maybe not, because she might... She might want to do the fingery waggle anyway, and... Yeah, we'll see. Uh, shiny fingers. Well, that's not what I was thinking of, was it? <laughs> I was thinking about the the four switch, like into the Geo Dude or something like that, because it takes two energy cards. But well, I don't have the attacking power anywhere, so uh, well now I do, I guess. But <laughs> let's get rid of the Psychic. I guess I'll put it on Lugia. Chances are it'll wake up and be able to do some attacks somewhere along the line, maybe. <laughs> well, nothing really. So you really want me to keep that Lugia out, huh? Okay, I'm gonna put. Graveler in play, put the other Geodude in play. Arrow Blast, come on to hell! Aww! <laughs> this is why you don't go and flip unless you can help it! <laughs> uh, Dark Haunter for what? You have a certain idea of what you want to put back in the deck or something like that now? Um, oh wait! It's we oh right 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 I forgot about that Lugia is kind of an oddball its weakness is to psychic I forgot about that um well, I know I'll be able to do 20 damage but uh, yeah whatever she puts out is not really that much of a threat to Lugia so I'll just keep on attacking with it and probably get all tails oh no okay <laughs> we actually got 40 damage off that amazing Stu stupendous superb. <laughs> <laughs> Ghastly, and in the lee licking, and it did not sticken, but it does do double damage, so <laughs> if I get two heads, I'll be able to knock out the Ghastly, so, um, yeah, well, sure, that on there, Arrow Blast, oh, uh. <laughs> this drives me bonkers. <laughs> This is why I don't play with luck-based stuff. I just go straight for the, the strategies that cannot lose most of the time, unless they, they brick. Uh, Alright, Kangaskhan, you are up. Super scoop up for later. How my punch just needs two heads? I wouldn't count on it, though, with my luck. Oh, oh! Duh! <laughs> Just teases me. Just teases me. I can get I get the two tails in a row, no problem. Two heads in a row? Oh no! No 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 no. The game is like no 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 no. Not not letting that happen, yo. Uh put that on Graveler. I'm a punch, two heads, please, please, two heads. That's not two in a row. <laughs> oh jeez! Come on! <laughs> this is baffling! How could anyone have this bad of luck? <laughs> anyway, I ran her down on HP, so switching is not really an option for her at this point, so <laughs> I guess that's one thing that isn't luck based, is that I am indeed doing damage, and hey, I got two heads out of that in a row. <laughs> uh, Professor Oak might be useful, but I don't know, considering the... Uh, the, the slow damage that I'm doing here. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about your Jinx there. I mean, that it, that it's got more HP that'll, that'll go around there. Um, wait, wait, hold on a sec. Should probably actually get the other Kangaskhan. And... All four heads are needed for the knockout! Oh man! Oh man! Oh! The odds have been beaten! <laughs> He was saving them up for this moment of pure satisfaction. <laughs> Still, I would not use Kangaskhan as, uh... I mean, I, I should say, I, I would not expect Kangaskhan to do that much damage, excuse me. So, like, I would not use Kangaskhan to do that much damage. I would just expect 40 on average. Um... I guess on the Graveler... And hope for heads so I can actually attack. Thank you. I need all the heads in the world. Well, actually, just two. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Such a tease. Such a tease. Though our deck is uh, successfully causing confusion. <laughs> I guess you could say that. Uh, 
I guess I'll try the teleporter. Oh, that's... Oh, I'm an idiot. Because <laughs> that's right, she used Frighten to set a nightmare this time. I got an attack off, so I just need one heads, which should happen. In theory, it should happen. Ah! Kangaskhan is back to being... Disappointment in the coin flip. <laughs> astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. Ah! I knew that was going to happen eventually, but still. It just... Still! That's... It... That's just unheard of! One tail, I mean, one heads out of eight coin flips. <laughs> Alright, heads. Well, actually, technically, no, 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 because I had to flip heads in order to attack. Ah, so you see, I, I gave the coin flips of the benefit of the doubt a little bit there. <laughs> I wonder if I should try scooping up Kangaskhan, because it'll put everything back into my hand. And I can just freely. Go yes, Kangaskhan, please or Graveler. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Actually, wait a second. Maybe we should just go for the earthquake. <laughs> just go for this thing that doesn't doesn't require coin flips. <laughs> sure, everything will take a little scratch damage, but I didn't put the other Kangaskhan back in play just yet, so we're all right. As a matter of fact, I could Earthquake again, assuming it's not confused, and then uh, knock out the Ghastly, because it's only 30 resistance and I'm doing 50. Of course, I'll be continually weakening my own critters, which is not ideal, but eh. Oh wait, actually, I could check- I mean, yeah, I could use one of the Golems. Why not? Yes! How about this Golem, because it's got a straight 60. Sure, sure. Look at that, it's- it's a magic what you can do when you're actually doing damage like, in a consistent fashion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, can you believe it? <laughs> I don't care about the 30 really because I'm going to win next turn anyway. But the avalanche did not need to self-destruct. We win! <laughs> At least I got to show you one of the golems. Woo! Thank you for your business. Here's a booster pack for your change. Uh, and there was a lot of change going around the table there. <laughs> Alright. Good trader there. So thank you very much for the battle. I'll be waiting for you to return. And... Coin switch. Let's go to the rain dance. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ghostmaster married the original downpour. Ah, hello there! You want a battle, right? Go sit at the dueling table! Alright, Sprite from Gen 1 Pokemon, let's go! What is the power of my torrential downpour deck? Just like last time? Ooh, new dialogue. Let's see six rice cards. <laughs> I'm gonna lose terribly, aren't I? <laughs> well, we'll see. I mean, I could always replay the battle and the like, so... Um... It's not a bad start, I guess, but... It's just a thing of that I don't really have much more than the Kangaskhan, and she can attach energy at a very rapid pace. <laughs> I wonder if I should go... Computer search into Professor Oak and hope for a double colorless energy? You know what I mean? Please... Please... I mean, I got fetch too, so... <laughs> and... Double colorless! Two of them! <laughs> nope, what? No basics? Really? Interesting. Can I get heads on this? Yes! Yes! Bills, dark version... Still no basics, jeez. Heads again, please? No! Alright, right, I'll fetch. I just drew through a lot of the cards in the deck, but still no basics. I mean, sure, I have Professor Oak as an emergency, but it's just a thing of that. I, I would have thought of all those cards that I drew. Oh no, there it is! <laughs> and Rain Dance is a flowing. Lapras. 
Confuser, I guess she's saving the other ones for a surprise, because she can attach energy whenever she pleases. And she probably doesn't have Professor Oak, then. Um... Should I just computer search for a basic? <laughs> uh, like, computer search for a Kangaskhan? Maybe, because I, I got Super Scoop up to potentially... Yeah. Sorry, I think I'm gonna go... Put one of those back in the deck. Actually, wait, wait. A few to search again. Yeah, I want to save both, because that's still a coin flip dealio with the super scoop up. Discard Professor Oak, and uh, I guess the fighting for Kangaskhan. Dead in play. Energy removal is not that uh, impactful on uh, Rain Dance, because it could just plop down as much energy as you want, but that might help a little bit. Um... I'm gonna put that on Kangaskhan. And hope for one head. Just ne Oh, man. Hope for one head! Oh, man! 25% <laughs> chance of that happening, and sure enough. Sure enough. Well, I guess I could try for the fetch. No! <laughs> That's three tails in a row! 12.5% chance! Apris, of course. Water gun. It's probably gonna finish me off with the... or finish Kangaskhan off with the other water gun. Oh, um... I could use that. Um... Uh, should I just say... Screw the... Graveler... Geodude Graveler gold line? Because there's only one Graveler left in my deck if I Professor Oak. But I think I need the Professor Oak, so... <laughs> Come on, give me something! Give me something! Yeah. I got the other double colorless for the other Lugia, but... Uh, let's keep offsetting your energy as long as I have it. Try it again. <laughs> and... I guess I'll try a fetch, because she's going to knock me out regardless. Nope. <laughs> Incredible. Just incredible. Alright, oh! You didn't attach any more energy. Interesting. So are you out of energy then? Good to know. Okay, I'm gonna put this on Lugia. And... Hopefully keep her down. Comet Punch. Two heads would be ideal, but three or more is better, of course. Because, you know, I want to knock it out in two attacks, basically. I could knock it out in one attack, like before, it'd be pretty nice, but <laughs> don't don't count on the coin flips. Uh, so she drew Squirtle. Alright. Then the Lugia, Comet Punch. Good. Good. Eh, doesn't need any more, actually. <laughs> Save all the rest of the coin flips when I need a Mr. Game there. Or a Mrs. Game. It is Golem. Uh. Trader for War Turtle. If you're only trading for Pokemon without energy cards, you're not really getting anywhere with them, you know? Got to have that energies. Gotta have the right balance of stuff. And that's not gonna be good for her, I don't think. Um, see, I got, actually got Geodude Graveler Golem now. So I could actually still play it. Maybe I should go for that as like the finisher. The, the non-luck finisher. Just to see if I can pull that off. Come on, three heads will be the knockout! Oh, here we go, here we go! Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's like, it's like we're at Vegas playing this game now for <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Alright, water gun time. It doesn't look like she's got any more energy to spare, so energy removal will be pretty nice. Put that in play. Try and draw out some energy. No. Uh, same energy requirement for Graveler as it is the Golem. I mean, excuse me, Greek, uh, Geodude, so I might as well evolve it now. And we attack! We will, in theory, we will attack! <laughs> oh, that was pretty good, actually. Alright, hopefully she doesn't get an energy and cause confusion to Kangaskhan, because that would be an issue. Uh, it looks like she just drew the uh, Squirtle. She put it on the bench, so that is out. Good, good. I think I'm just getting 
intensely lucky here, because this is not a good deck at all that I'm using. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Oh, okay! I was gonna say, we're gonna have total disappointment in our coin flips? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, three prizes left. We, we've got this. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> uh, it just feels like I'm using the same cards I used before, just based on how things are rolling here. Because uh, I wasn't really using the Geoduke Graveler that much, just based on that I didn't have the right setup for it in the last game, and then I already have Kangaskhan set up this game, so I might as well not waste the energy cards retreating and, and the like, so... Yep. You go ahead and nibble, and Kangaskhan keeps on kicking. I think... No, no, I'll hold on to it. Comet Punch. And... Oh. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll try the last Super Scoop up and uh, see if I can recycle Kangaskhan when it gets low on HP. Uh, but anyway, that is plenty to knock out this card also. Uh, Articuno is a lot of energy there, Missy, and she's not getting Professor Oak, which is pretty key to a Rain Dance deck. As a matter of fact, the one that I built before, I probably should have had... You know, I should have waited to build it until I had computer search, or more computer search, I should say. Good to get the Professor Oaks that I needed, but... Uh, just... I don't know. <laughs> just what I had at the time, I suppose. I mean, it still works, and it's still pretty pretty powerful overall. And got a bunch. Okay. I just... It's another one of those situations where I'm only looking for two at a time because of the HP the totals, basically. So, yeah. 40 is 40 per attack is pretty respectable. Uh, we got Golem set up. Voila! Comet Punch! Just two heads. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for much. It's 50%. Thank you. <laughs> that is the average. Alright, one more knockout. Somehow. I don't even know how he got this far versus Rain Dance, but... Uh, Articuno's getting powered up there, so you might have a smidge of issue. Maybe I should go with the Golem and just blow it up. Because <laughs> it's gonna do 100 damage. That would actually win. Because, wait, Articuno. Yeah, Articuno's resistant. It's minus 30 to the 100. It's got 70. Yeah, so I win right now, basically. If I were to switch to that. So. Let's experiment with Comet Punch instead. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that uh, worked out as well as it did. <laughs> and now she's actually got a switch. Uh, so she's going to have to use those energy... Oh, okay, I was going to say she has to discard those energy that she was working so hard to build up. And again, I could just blow up the golem with the explosion because Blastlux has got 100 HP and no resistance to fighting. So, uh, Rock is trap. Let's see what we get here. Not really two cards, yeah. I was say, she didn't really have much. They're just, just for kicks. Alright, Comet Punch. Here we go. So yeah, basically right now I can switch to Golem at any time and just plain win with an explosion, so... I, I, I'm I free to mess around as I see fit. <laughs> yeah, that, this deck is actually working a little bit better than I thought it would. I mean, yeah, it's, it's still... Since it's very coin-based, it's still not... You know, competitive-worthy or anything like that, but it's... It's like an efficient coin flip deck, I guess you could say. <laughs> it's like I, I, I'm putting everything in my favor as best I can, but still leaving up to the coin flips. And Kangaskhan, with the 80 damage, full comma punch to finish off the game. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Wow. Alright. Game over, Mary. Game over. Did my skills get rusty because I haven't played in such a long time? Eh, no, we, we played fairly recently. <laughs> Gyarados. Uh, Alright. Thanks so much for playing cards with me. You'll play again, right? Goodbye for now. Goodbye. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go through the card catalog, among other things.